Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a cancat function and a text join function. Cancat and text join function is going to be really handy when you have to merge a lots of data. At the very first level, I'm going to show you how to use a cancat and cancatinate function. Then we will move on to text join. When I type cancat function, you can see immediately two function pops up here one can get the other one can get in it and next to can get in it there is a small triangle or in other terms we can call this as a warning symbol which means this particular function is a legacy function which is there for such a long time and now lots of new functions are available only to indicate that the warning symbol is there first i will take up a can cat in it function then we will move on to can cat in can cat in it what we have to do is let's choose the first name second name third name fourth specialization and the fifth element placed then close and when i hit enter you can see it's completely a jammed one why this is happening or how have we used this so far so in order to do this place in cancat function again choose the text one comma in order to separate one element to another element or one text to another text we have to place in certain delimiter here so I'm going to use the delimiter within a space wherein I'm going to say I need a space, double quotes, comma, let me choose that middle name, comma, again the quotes, space, double quotes, comma, the last name, comma, double quotes, space, double quotes, comma, the specialization, comma, double quotes, space, double quotes, comma, placement status close and hit enter now we will see Aarti Sharma finance specialization and placed this is what we will have it now what the cancat function is going to help us or how can we use a cancat function the main difference between a cancat and a cancatinate is in cancatinate you have to select each and every one of the text but whereas in cancatinate you can select it in one go or one stretch and still it's going to give you the same a uh, jam result but if at all you want to do this then you can use a cancat function see for example so now we have learned when we use a cancat function to join the text this is how it comes in then where are we going to use the cancat function see for example here cancat i'm selecting all the numbers together and closing the command to get the result this is what the output is again when we want to combine the contact number we will be using a cancat function because it's really handy select everything at single go close and hit enter we will have the result coming in so whenever you want to join any numbers together it becomes very handy to use a cancat function but by any chance for example for anirban das gupta i am in need of let's say uh, the last name first and then we have to do it so that's when a uh, really a uh, cancatinate function is going to be really handy first let me choose the last name comma the middle name and the first name now when i close and hit enter you can see the last name middle name and the first name we have got it so if at all you are looking for this kind of a result only cancatinate function can help you on the other hand what happens with the text join let me show you let's pass in a text join function here within a text join the very first argument is going to be a delimiter the delimiter is something in which you are trying to separate the text it can be a comma it can be a semicolon it can be a space it can be a, it can be a hyphen or whichever you want to use it i'm going to use the space here comma and the second argument is do you want to include or ignore the empty cells i'm going to say ignore the empty cells so passing in true comma what is the text one text one is here comma text two text three and text four and text five close and hit enter now you can see it has automatically separated everything now let me show you the second option or second handy function of a text join pass in text join function in the delimiter i'm going to give an hyphen or if you want anything you can specify here comma in abhirupa mighty we have given true now i'm going to give a false one comma 
in abirupa mighty we have manually chosen every single cell here i'm going to choose everything at a single go close and hit enter now you can see what has happened it has joined all the text together but with a delimiter but notice here throughout the entire sentence in every place it's a single hyphen only at a arindam dipnath it's a double hyphen here why so when you inspect the formula you can see it include the empty cell so in order to say that there was a empty cell or that the middle name was missing in in order to denote that it has got in a second hyphen this is the speciality of using a text join when compared to text join and a can cat function obviously text join function scores more than the can cat function i'm sure this video was informative and you have enjoyed this video thanks for joining if you have any comments kindly post it in the comment section i'm happy to answer it this is karpagam signing off good day